This video looks at the research question and variable identification. This is part two in the Navigating Statistics and Research series. The research question is a sentence or paragraph that encapsulates what the researcher is setting out to discover. Often a single succinct sentence can summarize what the researcher wants to find out. However, sometimes it's better to create several individual questions or statements in a paragraph. Once the research question has been set, the goal of the report is to find an answer to this question. The research question is usually found towards the end of the introduction. So far, the introduction, together with its literature review and theory descriptions, have established a need for several possible questions to be answered. The reader now wants to know the purpose and direction for this paper. What specific question will be the focus? Knowing this provides a segue into the remaining sections of the paper. It is at this point that many readers decide whether they want to continue reading a paper, so a clear and succinct question is imperative to aid this decision and to generate continued reading. Sometimes authors state the research question at the start of the introduction and then provide reasons for its creation. Alternatively, Authors sometimes start with a broad research question and later narrow the focus down to smaller, succinct research questions. By establishing the research direction, the author also implicitly sets the types of statistical tools that will be used later in the study. It is a characteristic of exploratory research that the research question is quite broad. The purpose here is to find out what from a large number of possibilities are the most important questions, variables and hypotheses to consider. Exploratory research is about developing questions. For example, the paper by Brian Moon puts the research question in the last paragraph of the introduction. Once the research question is defined, the author moves on to the task of identifying or defining the variables that are the focus of the study. The task of variable identification is generally found either within the introduction or in the methods section. This includes determining what the variables are representing and what type of numerical information they capture. Numerical information can range from simple binaries, such as whether a person rode their bike to work, yes or no, to scaled measurements, such as the heights of seedlings, through to complex vectors, such as wind velocities over a landscape. For some variables, the limitation of the variable will also need to be defined. For example, if we were measuring the number of birds in flocks, do we consider a single bird flying across the sky to be a flock? How about a pair of birds? For other variables, the measurement scale isn't strongly defined. The Likard scale, for example, indicates the strength of agreement to a statement, but individuals have their own idea about what is strong or moderate agreement. In contrast, length measurements need to conform to standard definitions for metres, millimetres, etc. and The scale is therefore more strictly defined. The ability to test or measure is a critical element of choosing what to define and describe. This is the end of the second video. Click on the next video for further information about statistics and research.